My name is Air Commodore Tanvir Sheikh and I am the Chief Flying Instructor here in Karachi Aero Club since year 2016. I joined Pakistan Air Force soon after the war in 1972 and uh, initially uh, we did our ground schooling and then in about 1973 onward we started to fly and uh, I got my initial training on a very old aircraft, which is Howard T6G, and then on T37. And after my graduation in 1975, then I went to Turkey for my fighter conversion training. In Pakistan Air Force, I have flown almost all sorts of aircraft except for the transport aircraft. Uh, initially, I got my training on F-86s, the American F-80 Sabres, then on to MiG-19s, then on to Mirages, and then subsequently on to F-7s, and I flew F-7s also. Teaching is a very, very noble, uh, I would not say a profession, but a noble work. And uh, a teacher is the one who really teaches you to uh, move forward in life. And in Islam, he is termed as next to the father. So this is my uh, desire and it has been my desire to continue teaching my youngsters about whatever I have learned. So this profession, I don't take it as a profession. I take it as my uh, desire to be an instructor where uh, I pass on my information, whatever I have learned, the techniques of flying, the value of flying, the human being values, all these things I keep passing on to my students. So it makes a pilot all right, but when you are talking about a good pilot, the good pilot has much more than the, just the skill of flying. Remember, a good pilot must have a balance of leadership, his skills, his discipline, his critical thinking, and obviously his insight for flight safety. Now, these things are the ones which make you good. If you remove these, then you will only stay a pilot. To sum up, I would say, number one, a good pilot is the one who is lifelong learner. He continues to learn in his life. Then he is humble and he has self-confidence in him. Number three, he has good situational awareness and this comes with practice right from the beginning go. Okay, then a small mistakes can lead you to a very big problem. So remember, a good pilot has to be looking at and paying full attention to details, to details, even the minus, minor details he is to look after. And then, last but not the least, obviously, I would say that a good pilot should have good communication skills. So this is this is what I, I personally feel makes you a good one. Otherwise, you can just be a pilot.